All right, I picked up this one for 240 euros. Now you might be wondering, why did you pick such an ugly case? Well, it's because there is an i5 6400T inside and we're gonna try to go with BCLK overclocking since the motherboard is a Z1. All right, we took the baseline. As you can see, it's sitting at around 3.8 gigahertz. Now we're gonna delete and overclock it. Now to overclock this kind of board, since the CPU is locked, you want to go to the MSI website, go over on support, BIOS and download one of the BIOS that still has the correct microcode. Now with, for this board, which is a Z170A Gaming M3, the correct version is A7 or A6. So you just download it, put it in a USB drive and then flash it. But, um, you know, the model will vary depending on your board. So just do a quick Google search and they will tell you which BIOS is the proper one. Now you can also use newer BIOSes but you will have to swap out the M code. And it's not that difficult to be fair. You just have to use a tool um, which you can easily find. Like I, I have a guide about that, you know, the, the one with the external BIOS flashing, all right? So you, you can basically swap out the M code and then flash that one and you can use the newest BIOS. But you know, this time we're going with the old one cause you know, I wanna make it quick. So let's go. Right here we are flashing the BIOS. You know, you just put it in a USB drive, select it then just flash it. Now in this exact moment, you know, if your, you know, AC goes off, well, your BIOS is bricked and you will need to do a manual recovery. And yeah, I mean, I have a guide about that, but like you will need a programmer. So, you know, try not to have your AC turn off right now, you know, right now that it's updating. Well, 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 see you after the update with the overclock. After you've flashed the BIOS, another problem is you cannot use the IGP if you are doing this kind of overclock. That's why we have my handy GTX 550 Ti, you know, a little modded. And we're, we're gonna slap this bad boy in, all right? Now let's take a look at this cable management. It kinda sucks, so give me two seconds, all right? See you in two seconds, boys. All right, here we are, way better if you ask me. Like there's still this janky connector here, but I mean, this GPU won't be the final one going in there. It's just for testing purposes. So yeah, looking pretty nice. All right, now it's time to delete it. Jesus, this thermal compound kind of suck. Now I'm gonna drop it all over the pins, boys. Yeah, all right. Uh, okay. Well, well, well. There you have it i5 6400t i opened up this one as you have seen in the previous video and guess what there are some bent pins of course there always are well we're gonna fix those one real quick another pro tip is you know to just blow some air into the socket so let's go real quick that my bending the pins back job work all right now here's how you do it you know you just pop it right in turn on the PSU you know turn it on then place two fucking fingers on top of it and if it's too hot you know better turn it off all right let's see let's see come on mate come on All right, that's good, that's good. Uh, this means we have a signal, it's pretty, all right, nice. Now let me, let me turn it off. Uh, tu -tu, tu -tu. I know you guys wanted me to use a vice to delete it, but unfortunately I don't have it on hands, so I will have to use this one and block it with my foot. All right, not that funny. All right, all right. Now, here we go. Let me just, Pop the CPU open. Come on, come on, man. There we go. Clean and easy. Of course, I don't wanna, you know, waste liquid metal on a CPU that is this low end. And that's why we're going with just some good old MX4. And yeah. I will be using the spreading method, by the way. 
So here we go guys, I know this triggers you a lot. Come on, I expect at least 20 comments about the thermal, you know, the grease of my hand, you know, impairing thermal ability of the CPU. Come on, come on. Go get trigger. Tell me this one is not the right thing to do. Yeah. But hey, it works. And guess what? This stuff is non conductive, non capacitive, so you can just spread it all over the CPU. No problem, you know? So yeah, come on. Go right down in the comments. Go, go. Now, here we go. We're gonna go. Slot it right inside. All right, all right. Okay. Now I like to first, you know, put the bare CPU, and then to just to slap the IHS on top of it. A couple of seconds later. All right. There it is. Now we're gonna just close this bad boy down. All right, and now we turn it on. We just place two fingers on top of it and we see if we have a signal. Come on, come on. It's getting hot, so I know it's booting, by the way. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on. Be quick, cause it's getting real hot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Come on, come on. I really gotta like remove my hand. All right. <laughs> nice. Oh boy, here we go again. Clean and easy, if you ask me. Since you're all wondering, you know, my tube is broken. Like I ordered it from AliExpress and it arrived like this. And yeah, it's up and running. You know, it will give us a signal in a couple of seconds. All right, here we go. So yeah, that's why I do this kind of weird spreading method because like it comes out real weird and I gotta like, ah, boy. But well, at least they like refunded it to me, so came out for free and it's pretty good you know it's pretty much the same as mx4 like deltas of one to two degrees so yeah all right now here we are at stock you know 40 degrees and the full synthetic load that's good that's good this is the max overclock we achieved on this locked cpu and it's 4.6 gigahertz which is over double the stock performance now what's interesting is that look at the score in that benchmark, all right? Now I'm gonna pull up a comparison with the 700K, all right? Just give me a sec. All right. So this one is the score in single thread of the 8700K, you know? And this little i5 6400T beat it by 50 points, boys. By six points. <laughs> but hey, all right. All right, and look, this guy suck, but we deleted it, and so we can do this. Now, if you ask me, this i5 is pretty good even in five strike. Look at that. We are at 9,000, and well, on this cooler. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Well, the other specs are 16 gig of RAM, single channel, unfortunately. The i5 you've seen, at 1070. Budget PSU, very budget case, 120 gig SSD and 500 gig hard drive. <laughs>